the race would be six miles long, and the route completely unpredictable. I'd be on a mixture of rough trails, gravel levee roads, and farm tracks. And the airboat would travel along the shoreline to begin before heading deep into the swamp to the finish. I was expecting the start line to be near the water, but Stan had other ideas. So Stan, you actually gonna drive down the street with that? Yeah. Have you ever had this on pavement before? Yeah, at the Armadillo Nationals in Houston. It's called Armadillo Nationals? Armadillo Nationals. Nationals. After I passed and it blew the Christmas tree down, the track officials were very upset with me. Are you allowed back there? Probably not. All right, let's do this. All right. You're not going to mind an old Texan kicking your ass, right? I was worried about the backwash from the props. I should have worried more about Stan's math. Turned out Stan couldn't count. And he also was completely insane. This crazy levy stun had given him a huge lead. Oh my god, what kind of road is this? Stan hit the open water and opened up the big V8, 80 miles an hour in just 400 feet. Eighteen inches from Stan's head, the prop was traveling at the speed of sound, creating a hundred and fifty mile an hour backwash. It is so bumpy. I think I get up on the levee now. He's so far ahead of me at this point. While I crashed around on the bank, Stan was gliding serenely across the glassy water. He was destroying me. I finally made it to the levee road. Six feet of dirt, a 50-foot drop on each side, but it was all I needed to get on the gas. Now we're laying down some speed. 80, 90. 100 miles an hour on a levee. I've done a few smarter things in my life, I think. I just can't let a guy with a Hawaiian shirt beat me. That's really what it comes down to. Stan had navigated away from the shore and was now halfway to the finish line. And the gators were ducking. The airboat god of thunder was approaching. But the murky waters concealed rotting cypress stumps. Stan had to slow or risk an impact that could flip the boat. An airboat has no brakes and no reverse. Driving one takes real commitment. Three miles in, and I'd finally hit the end of the levee road. Up ahead lay two miles of farmland and horse trails. Going. Holy crap. Stan had also steered away from the swamp, over the levee and into the bayou. Is it worth 60 grand? I don't know. We certainly won't have any worries about making it to work. Big bump. shortcut had given him the lead. With just two miles to go, I had no choice but to go all out. This thing is tough as nails. Oh, big corner. Hang on. I can't think of another production vehicle that could take the hit that I just did. And it's fine. This truck is a tank or car, whatever it is. Stan was now back in the swamp, picking up speed, while I had a farm between me and the levee. It was too close to call. Finally, I hit the levee again. It was a straight run from here to the finish one mile away. The question was, where was Stan? Oh. 
Stan had edged ahead of me with just 500 yards to go. It was now or never. I had to floor it, or Jimmy Buffett and the flying hair dryer would be drinking the victory beer.